Hi, this is Dave Myers with Paper Trail Financial. Today, I have a brief basics tutorial regarding how to customize reports in QuickBooks. QuickBooks has three basic types of reports. List reports summarize lists, like the customer or vendor lists. Summary reports show only the transaction totals. Transaction detail reports show all the underlying transactions that are summarized in summary reports. Since list reports have the same basic customization options as detail reports, but without the transaction information, I'll concentrate on the options available for summary and detail reports. I'll close the desktop and generate two reports. The profit and loss standard report, which is a summary report. I'll also create the profit and loss detail report. In the window menu, I can select tile vertically so we can see the reports side by side. On the left, the detail report shows all transactions related to revenue. The summary report on the right has only a single line item for revenue. I'll minimize the summary report for now so we can take a closer look at the detail report. On the top left, there's a drop down menu to select relative dates. I'll discuss these later in the video. Fixed dates for the report can be manually entered at the top of the report window. If you hover the cursor over a column, it changes to a hand, and you can click and drag the column to another location. You can also click and drag the diamond between columns to resize them or remove columns altogether. To get a column back, just click the Modify Report button and select the column in the box at the bottom of the window. The Sort drop-down menu allows you to sort the report by any of the column headings. Let's minimize the detail report and open the summary report. Notice that by default, the summary report has only one column. The Collapse and Expand button allows us to hide or show subaccounts. And notice that there are no options for sorting this report. One of the most useful features of QuickBooks Summary Reports is the ability to total the report different ways. By selecting Weeks in the Columns menu, we get weekly profit and loss results. We're still able to resize the columns in this report, but don't have the ability to click and drag them to different locations. The Dates drop-down menu provides relative dates. If the report is memorized, it will always display the most current information within the date parameters. A memorized report with the dates manually entered will always display the dates entered by default. When memorizing reports, try to always use relative dates. When I press the Modify Report button, you can see we still have the option of setting relative or fixed dates. We can toggle between cash or accrual basis we can still change the total columns as well. But we have some additional features that aren't included in the main window. For example, when I select the percent of income option, an additional column is added to the report showing each expense percentage as a proportion of total income. Now I'll go back and remove the new column, but we'll add a filter. The Filter tab provides a list of report filters, each with its own options to the right of the filter box. I'll select Item Filter. The new drop-down allows me to scroll through the item list. I'll 
I'll select an inventory item. I want to memorize this report, but first it needs to be renamed in the Modify Report window under the Header Footer tab. When I press OK, the report header shows the new name. Clicking in the Memorize button and then OK saves the report. I'll close the report. To reopen it, I'll go to Reports, Memorize Reports, and select a new report. To manage Memorize Reports, go to the Report menu and choose the Memorize Report list. Here you can select Edit to change a report name, or you can choose Delete to delete the report. There's one additional report I want to show you that's very useful, the Custom Transaction Detail Report. Notice that when you open the report, it goes straight to the Modify Report window, allowing you to create a detailed report from scratch. In this case, I'll select Fiscal Year to Date. Then I'll filter for a current asset account, Prepaid Insurance. I'll give the new report a name on the header footer tab. When I click OK, a custom transaction detail report is displayed for the prepaid insurance account. I'll memorize the report and close it out. When I go back to the Reports menu, the new Custom Detail Report is listed.